How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to another episode of Between the Sheets with Gail Force. And once again, I am not between the sheets. I'm laying. <laughs> We're out laying and sitting down. And I'm sitting down because I've got my guitar in my hand. And if I was between the sheets with my guitar, that would be a little bit weird, wouldn't it? Although it has got a lovely neck. <laughs> no, but it would be a little bit weird. Well, it wouldn't be a little bit weird, but if I tried to play the guitar between the sheets, it would probably sound, yeah. But wouldn't that be sheet music? Or would it be shit music? <gasps> I just cost. I can say naughty words here. I'm not going to get pulled up. I can say what I want. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> giving an Irish person license to cuss oh <laughs> so hopefully I won't keep you that long this is not going to be a very long episode like the last one you know I probably bored a lot of you to death so I'm just going to talk a little about why I'm on Spotify and what's going on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the content like 50-50 between YouTube and Spotify and the stuff on YouTube is going to be more um, script heavy and more innocent and the stuff on Spotify is going to be a bit more sensual so the vanilla is going to be a bit more <laughs> on the hotter side <laughs> so yeah so yesterday anyway it was the wettest day ever well not ever, but it was the wettest day I can remember in a long time in Ireland. It was just terrible. And there was floods everywhere. And of course, I was silly and I went out. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have gone out, but I did. And my journey home should have been like 30 minutes. And it took me about two hours to get back because I was being diverted. And, you know, there's some routes that I couldn't take. Um, there was a lot of cars stranded around the place flash floods everywhere it's chaos like we had probably six or seven hours of rain and uh, the county came to a, a standstill it's mad absolutely mad and i saw uh, abandoned cars around the place and it's amazing because usually when you, when i would have seen the, those before i'd say why did that person take a chance and you know i spoke about this before uh it was like last november what happened to me but my situation was a little bit different because i got caught in a flash flood <laughs> And it was, you know, scary as hell. I was just like, a river broke its banks up on top of me. Like, and I was, I was like, this is it. This is the moment where you go. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And it was pitch dark early in the morning. And I was on my own, freezing cold, November rain, just pelting down, no one around for miles and miles. So this guy and his girlfriend walk in, and she knew the girlfriend. But she didn't hold the guy. And um, they sat down anyway. And she said hello to the girl. And she kind of looked the guy up and down. And the guy, like, he had this uh, curly head of hair. You know, a real bed head. And he was a good looking guy, you know, and all that. Like, But it was just like, his hair was all over the place. There was probably golf balls from the local golf club. And you know, just, you, kinda, <laughs> you know, he just like woke up, you know. And he said, his probably just crawl out of bed in the rain. And just came down and... She just looks over and the calf is jammed and she says, whatever she calls, I'm like, I'm not going to say what she calls the girl's name. And she says, where did you find him? And the whole calf goes quiet and she looks over and she goes, did you find him under, under a head of cabbage? And he was like, oh God. 